I walk into this collection, I just think about how amazing it is that we've managed to procure all these different skeletons and bones for our access as students, and I think it's a really amazing uh, opportunity to be able to see all of them that not many people get. The Life Sciences Skeletons Collection is a collection of many skeletons of species from mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and then they also have a plant collection. The bio department let me access this space, not for anything bio-related, but just to be able to draw, and they sort of very much encourage this outlet for me. Drawing is kind of like a sort of therapeutic thing. It helps me de-stress post-education. <laughs> Many people think that art and science are two separate entities, but I think that they're not, and they're very interconnected in ways that people may not realize. I do want to go into veterinary medicine, so drawing teaches me a lot about the bone structure of an animal. Trying to replicate it photorealistically teaches you a lot about the proportions it has and like you have to 3D model it in your head a little bit and sort of translate shadows and crevices and stuff and how that stuff looks on paper. When I look at these skeletons, I think about the animals and the whole creatures that they were once part of and paying respect to that. It's not something I take lightly, it's a very privileged thing to be able to witness. A great part of going to a small school like Dartmouth is being able to access um, collections like these, be able to interact with these things and really look at them up close. Having access to this resource has been a really special way to grow both my academic curiosities and allow me to draw inspiration for my art.